Hey guys, welcome back to our Texas homestead. We're finally back at home. If that video's come out yet or not, you'll see it soon. Uh, finishing, trying to finish up this Augustson Farms emergency mail deal. Uh, tonight, we're going to start with the creamy potato soup. Uh, directions say remove oxygen absorber and discard. Not recommended to eat, apparently. Uh, whisk entire contents of the pouch into 10 cups of boiling water. Reduce to medium heat. And then cook for an extra 10 to 15 minutes and stir frequently. And then we're going to have a cheesy broccoli rice. We'll see how much uh, broccoli is in this one compared to what was in the uh, Four Patriots one. Uh, remove oxygen absorber and discard. Whisk entire contents into six cup of boiling water. Reduce heat to medium and continue cooking for 20 minutes, stir frequently. So this one's 10 to 15, this one's 20 minutes. 10 cups and six cups. We got the water boiling, getting ready to boil on the stove and we'll catch you back over there in a minute. Okay, for the smell test. The cheesy broccoli rice. Took me a minute to find the, uh, the, what you call it? Oxygen, Oxygen absorber. I want some extra light here. It smells more cheesy, cheesy than ricey and broccoli. -y. If you look at it, it looks just like powder. Apparently there's some rice in there somewhere. Um, it looks like broccoli wise. Oh, I dropped it. A little chunk of broccoli. Broccoli. And the other one. Potato soup. Potato soup. I don't know what potato soup will smell like. Yeah, it doesn't smell like much at all. We uh, we were both looking at each other, going, uh, "What does it smell like?" Nothing. I mean, it just, it's got a little scent to it. I'm not I'm sure what. Potato yeah, that's like the, I can feel crunchy chunks in the bottom of the bag. It doesn't even smell like a broth. Mm -hmm. So, going to be interesting as usual. And it's things, the things we do for you. So that way you don't have to. Think notice. about it. <clears throat> oh, and the rest of them, it says a Best Buy date on them. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> 49. May of, yeah, 48 or 49. So, it's got some years to it. This one's actually got it too. And I can't flip it upside down. July of 47. So, still got some time. But if they're not good now, how are they going to... Maybe they age. The older they get, the better they taste. Got to be. The water for the broccoli's boiling. So I'm going to whisk it in. Turn it down, and it's going to cook for 20 minutes. It gets clumpy. I'm just trying to say whisk it in. Virgil, don't drink so fast. Yeah, but it doesn't want to break up. It's definitely cheesy looking. Yeah. The bro the chunks of broccoli are bigger than the uh, oh, four yeah. Patriots one by a lot. 
be cheesier if the clumps would if break the up. If the clumpies would come out. Set back and get a dog right behind you. Yeah, for me. Imagine if y'all had to cook like this all the time. Because she does. It's constant. That and this one over here, it's always right there. It's usually in the front and he's in the yeah, back. Yeah, it's usually like that. Water's boiling, and we're starting to boil for the creamy potato soup. Do you have another whisk? No, I'm going to wash this one up. This one goes into 10 cups of water. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the broth out. You can kind of see the potato chunks. Let me get a little closer. See them there. Try not to stir so that way y'all can see it. And this one goes for 15 to 20 minutes, and we've got 17 and a half minutes left, so should be about right. She's had to move hers to the back burner because. These front, these front eyes are so strong. Even on low, they're super strong. This one's definitely chunky. You almost need a pot to put it in, even that, I mean, like a large pasta kind of pot, but because they ask for so much water. And see, even on a back burner on low, it's just sitting there bubbling. But the, but the soup still has no real smell to it. I can smell the cheese and stuff out of that one, but I can't smell anything out of this one. Probably. I think Patty wanted to bring home another dog because it looked like her dog that passed away. Yep. We had a dog that broke its back. It was Playing with, we, we think it was playing with the neighbor's dog jumping up on the fence where we used to live at. It had a wooden fence. And next thing you know, it, I'm being told that dog's hurt and doesn't want to move and go out there and it can't move. It came in, it crawled underneath the table and went and, moved, went and get out from underneath the table. Yep.
another, and, you know, we tried to nurse him back, but after the swelling finally went down in his back, you could actually feel the hump where it separated in his back. I had to put him down. But he couldn't control anything anymore, bowel movements, anything. He had to wear a diaper. That's not fun trying to deal with that with a 100 pound dog. No. He was a big boy. When we're using the kennel slide and the plastic slide underneath it to use that to help slide them out or a, a blanket yeah, we had in there to yeah, and help pull them in and out. This stuff. We had to keep the other dogs away from them because they knew he was hurt. Just yeah, we had just seen it at the time, the old one. And she wanted to, she wanted to put him down. She knew something wasn't right, and, and she knew it immediately. Yeah. I guess she was trying to put him out of his misery. If anybody else got any good crazy dog stories or anything, more than welcome to put them down in the comment box. And of course, the usual, like, subscribe, share. We've got our, we've got our hours made for the channel for the first set of goals that YouTube puts out. We just got to get the subscribers. Uh, it takes 3,000 hours for the first set and then 4,000 for the second set we're gonna we'll get the hours well before we get the subscribers it looks like and usually usually pick the everybody I've talked to and you know other other channels I've talked to they struggle the other way around they struggle getting the, the, the hours not the subscribers so our channel is kind of different for some reason you know we we had a big drop off there for a little bit where we were losing subscribers um, I have heard people talk about a lot that how YouTube will unsubscribe you. So be sure you make sure that if you're if you want to be subscribed to the channel, you check and make sure you're still subscribed. You've got the notification bell checked, and make sure you're getting every, all the notifications every time we post. You know we post religiously every Tuesday, thir Tuesday and Saturday. Um, videos like this they're all back to back and then of course we'll still have a tuesday saturday video even afterwards so even if it ends on a tuesday so but we've got an upcoming video coming out which if, i'm not sure if it's going to come out before this or after oh wow well, nice shirt kid you gonna come show off your shirt and how much you love ramen <laughs> one of my kids has a shirt has a hoodie that it's a beef ramen hoodie but he doesn't like to be on camera he's the shy type so got 10 minutes back but um i won't i won't force y'all to sit here and watch me stir this for 10 minutes but it, you can see it's getting, trying to get, I'm trying to make sure it doesn't say clumped up because it's kind of clumpy. But, um, I don't know. It's looking more like soup. I'm sure that's what he's out here for is to try the soup. Me, on the other hand, I'm not a, I, I just don't like soups and stuff. Almost went over that one. So... Like I said make sure you make sure you're subscribed make sure you share we'd greatly appreciate it help boost the channel up every like every comment on the channel helps the algorithms through YouTube so that way if you hit the like button it shows you like it and other people get a chance to get the opportunity to look at it too because YouTube will help push it out to other people 
Uh, if it gets thumbs down or not any likes or shares or comments, it slows down the growth of the channel. So we would like to succeed. So help us out. All right, I got to switch burners on this one, and I'll bring you back when it's done. Huh? See, there's the ramen shirt. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna bring it down here. They're done. There's the potato. There's the cheesy broccoli rice. Mm -hmm. One of our taste testers. Tell you what it's actually got a lot more flavor than what it smells he said it was the better of the soups but out of everything we've had that's actually that's actually pretty good i like it mm -hmm. you don't like it no what do you okay well, what do you not like about Tastes like raw potato. You like raw potatoes, I don't. Exactly. I will sit here and eat a raw, and take a, I will peel a potato and eat it raw with some salt. And that's what exactly what it tastes like. It's like a, just a potato. But, like, yeah. Yeah, it tastes potato. like a raw potato. That's the reason I like it. So, this one, not bad for me. Her, not so much. This one, he said the rice could have cooked longer. I could probably set more too and help it out. Very cheesy. Really? You don't think so? I don't think it has much taste at all. I think it's very cheesy. Yeah, I probably could have cooked a little longer, but this yeah, I would I don't eat. Like either one of them, but. Yeah, I would eat this one over that one. That one's leaving my mouth dry. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I mean, it's like really leaving my mouth dry. Oh, the cheese. But is it the cheese, or is it? It's kind of grain. Is it feel kind of grainy? Oh, the powder cheese. Maybe. Yeah. So, eh, on the cheesy rice thing. If you like, if you like potatoes, like raw potatoes, you'll like the potato soup one. If you don't like raw potatoes, you might not like it because it is it is absolutely loaded with chunks of potato. So, which one did you get, Logan? You had both. Which one did you like better? Broccoli and cheese one reminds me of that Mexican cheese. That restaurant shop that um, I think it did. Oh, you know. Oh, no, the, the instant cheese. Mm. Powder queso. Powder queso. My lovely wife here took us to a place, you know, authentic Mexican food restaurant. It was good when I went the first time. She went to one. She went the previous day and said it was good. And even the waiter or the owner or whatever came up, oh, weren't you just here? Yeah, just here yesterday. she was just here yesterday. Remembered her, but. Um, we didn't have queso then. We didn't have, she didn't have queso. We ordered queso, cause I always get queso when I go. And it was, you could tell, it still had the grain, the, the grit on the top layer of the cheese that it was instant cheese. And I'm like, Come on, this is supposed to be a Mexican food restaurant. It, w it was not good. That, so my first experience at the place was like, you're joking, right? 
hers, she had a good experience. So we still make fun of her to this day about that place. Yep. They we, did have good pina coladas though. Let's see. The drinks make the food better. <laughs> And it wasn't mariachi night the first time. I and was. yes, it was mariachi band night and creepy mariachi band night. So yeah, yeah, that was that was a rough one for me to go to, and but she liked to play, so I'll never go back. But he liked it. he liked the cheesy one. Did it leave your mouth dry though? Yes, very much so. Okay, yeah, he's got he's got a drink. He's over down him. So hope you liked the video. Hope it was informational informative and um, got one more video we'll do two items like this at once try to help get this one done I know this one's kind of been a long one they actually had quite a bit of, quite a bit of different stuff in it they seem like it's longer videos than um, the four Patriots one and then we've got ready wise one coming up after this and we'll check it out and see how much that how how that one is we'll have some videos in between and our trip to arkansas so we'll be either before this or after this so now kind of gives you an idea when it was filmed so hope you all enjoy the video like subscribe and share see you soon